Understanding Absolute Colors, a guide to English language. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic, absolute colors. This concept is not just about colors but about how language and perception intertwine. Let's dive in and uncover the meaning behind absolute colors. Absolute colors refer to color terms that are universally recognized and understood, regardless of culture or language. These colors are typically primary or secondary colors like red, blue, green, and yellow. They are distinct and do not require comparison to other colors for identification. For example, when we say, red, it conjures a specific color in our minds, clear and distinct. Absolute colors are crucial in language because they are basic building blocks of color vocabulary. They are often among the first color words learned in any language. This universality makes them essential for clear communication. When you use an absolute color in a sentence, people from different cultures are likely to visualize the same color, which is vital in global communication. Contrasting absolute colors, relative colors require a point of comparison. Terms like light blue or dark red are relative. They depend on comparing the intensity or shade of the color to the absolute color. Understanding this difference is key in learning English as it helps in accurately describing objects and scenes. Let's see some examples. The sky is a clear blue. She wore a bright red dress. The grass is a vibrant green. In these sentences, the absolute colors provide a clear and immediate understanding of the color being described. And that's a wrap on absolute colors. Remember, these are the colors that stand on their own, bringing clarity and universality to our colorful world. I hope this video helps you understand and use these fundamental color terms in English. Keep practicing, and see you in the next video.